Hi, this is group B04 and this is assignment 3 for art introduction to artificial intelligence. And we are doing the field of uh, artificial intelligence application in education field. Alright, before we start to identify what is artificial intelligence solutions or applications, we need to know what is AI first. AI, artificial intelligence or in other words, AI originally was created a machine similar to human that can think, learn, reason, search things, recognize things, interpret or even forecast a result. Artificial intelligence are made by human and performed in a machine, be it in software or hardware. Okay, this all is the definitions of different people like Minsky. 1968, I'm sorry, 1968. He defined that artificial intelligence is known as the science of making machines do things that would require in that intelligence if done by humans. In different perspective, John Darkin defined AI as science of making a computer reason in a manner similar to humans. The father of AI, John McCarthy defined AI as science and engineering of making intelligence machine. In 2010, Russell and Novik defined artificial intelligence in four dimensions. First, is the artificial intelligence think rationally. The second one is they think like human. And the third one is they act like human. Or the fourth one is they act rationally this is what artificial intelligence application is they can act like human they have the abilities of human like recognizing things recognizing pictures uh, recognizing a sentence uh, we can read the sentence because we recognize it we know what is it like this word I know this is AI because I recognize it the shape the uh, the structure of the A and the I. So, and I know the meaning of artificial intelligence. So, I can recognize this and I can read the sentence. This is what AI is supposed to do. And they supposed to re recognize things like human. This is, if the application have these abilities, then we can say it as it is artificial intelligence. Now I I identify the AI solutions. Mm, nowadays, um, we are living in an era where we are reportedly exposed to 2.5 trillion bytes of data every day. Yes, trillion is a real number. We now have data as scarce due to the exponential growth of computing power and new sources of data for cheap, all of which are evolving into meaningful information to give us a 360 degree view of our customer, in turn, driving business to be more efficient effective and personalized in our job to figure out what the data that exists in our organization is and how we can use it as a modern competitive advantage to tap. IDC projects that ship shipments of AI software will grow by 15% per year and will reach 57.6 million by 2021. Key leaders know that artificial intelligence is not longer a nice to have but a necessity, yet they have often prepared with how to identify a true AI solution and ensure what questions need to be asked in order to qualify the right better for their specific needs. What do they mean by artificial intelligence 
Artificial intelligence is an umbrella term that is immensely wide-ranging in scope. One company could use it to mean simple automation, while another company may mean deep and complex learning. There is no way of knowing until you ask. So ask. Some companies are relying on proven data and just calling it artificial intelligence. However, it's not. Machine learning allows machines to learn from data and make decisions or prediction that may be massively complicated and incomprehensive to humans. But what is the in complex organization further? The element that only a wise machine learning technology can provide. The machine learning is doing the learning, but it initially learns from human input. You need humans who are importing the right data at the right time for the right reasons and are able to explain it fully to you and what it means for your business. Humans need to realize that we need computers to keep up with innovation and computers need continuous human intervention to provide strategy and quality data. The game changer is when we can successfully work together. Artificial intelligence serves practical human needs and take your company further than you could have ambition going before, and the right vendor will help you get there. Scope is one of the AI applications that is used in education. The real world problem is we just need a lot of time to mark all of their students' papers exam papers or homework or assignment and it is really a very boring process and waste with just time and energy. In addition, sometimes teachers need to analyze how well is the student score. So this takes another period of time to do it. And students usually don't understand why they lost mark because Usually, teachers will just uh, mark a tick and write down uh, marks, the total marks they get. So, uh, they, they have to meet their teachers personally to understand what they are having trouble with. Okay. Uh, how is Grayscope application will solve the problem? Before that, we need to understand how Grayscope works first. First, the answer sheet is uploaded to Grayscope platform. And the Grayscope AI identify and group all the identical answers into the same group. Here we got a two we got a exam, example of maths paper in real life. And here we are. This is for the question one, and the Grayscope AI group them into two groups and one ungrouped answer. And the for the group one, it is the answer is one over two x square plus c. As we can see, here we got three students who answer the same. And for group two, we got x square just and square without the plus c and 1 over 2 and the ungroup for the ungroup answers here we have the question mark means it is blank and here we got a uh, answer that the artificial intelligence of grayscope cannot recognize because the c looks like a g so uh, artificial intelligence cannot recognize this so it just list it down as ungrouped. Teachers double check and correct the group answers by dragging the wrongly grouped answers into the correct group. So uh, for these answers, uh, 1 over 2 x squared plus this c looks like a g. So teacher can have to drag it manually to the group 1 and it becomes like this. Teachers key in the marking scheme into Grayscope. Here we got the example. This is for the question one and 
here we ha have the marking scheme and if this is the for the correct answers and this is for the answers that are have missing content which is plus C and this is the answer that has missing factor which is 1 over 2 so just now we can see that group 1 has all the answer that requires that required 1 over 2 x squared plus C is the full answer so teacher just have to click on the 1 here to mark them all to mark three uh three students paper in or four i'm sorry four students paper in the same time so for the group two x square there have the missing content this is the answer like they have the missing content and missing answers so teacher have to just have to click on both of the cubic so the marks will be automatically calculated as uh, minus 1 and minus 1 means minus 2 in total so for the ungrouped paper sheets it is a blank so teachers they can click on this one add, ru add rubric item and write down uh, blank answers and minus the total marks and after that Teachers give marks to the each group of the answers by clicking the number cubic. This is what I have just said just now. And Briscope system analyze and make a rubric level statistics. So here we have the example for the assignment statistics. You can see for the question 1.1 and 1.2, 1.3. For the question, they got uh, the statistic and here we got minimum is how many percent and for exam exam one we got seven points in top in total and for the minimum how much percentage how much percent of the students got minimum and medium maximum and we got mean and standard deviation we Briscope even have the analysis for each questions or uh, we can say this is the chapter one or question one and we got a uh, B or A question one A one B or we can say it's 1.1 1.2 here we have the mean and the points how many person get how many points yeah so teachers can understand everything here so and this is more detailed analysis here we can see how exactly how many students is had the score of two and how many got three you can uh, the Grayskull AI will state down here and how many got correct all how many have missing electron pairs for the chemistry subject and how many answers are missing ones here we got everything all right what's the difference between the uh, solution with and without artificial intelligent application which is great scope first without great scope you just need to mark every single homework assignment or exam paper one by one. Teachers they need to read every single solutions and compare it to the marking scheme. Human in robot, we know that uh, they will make mistake due to long time of marking process. Therefore, marking time become more important to maintain the accuracy of marking. Sometimes students don't understand why their answer is wrong because uh, usually they just, just mark a tick and or uh, state a one there for one mark. They didn't actually explain on how they mark the paper in the question uh, in the exam paper. So 
uh, students can can't learn from the mistake except that teachers is explaining in the class but in some cases like for mathematics there are a lot of a lot type of answers sometimes when teachers are lack of time or out of time they might just explain one of the answers from that for that question so uh, student they can't learn from their mistake their own mistake with artificial intelligence teacher can mark certain question of several students answer in the same time therefore it saves time and reduce the number of time teachers keep referring to the marking scheme it increases the accuracy and efficiency of marking and for a group of teachers they can share the marking scheme online and mark all the paper in the same way the last one is student can understand why they got low mark because there's a comment and uh, from the last example we can see that that beside the rubric there are the marks and below it we got a line of black color words or black color sentence it is the comment for the mark deducted all right for the, the advantages and disadvantages using artificial intelligence to solve the problem first the advantage is it saves a lot of time for both students and teachers they, students don't have to uh, find teacher personally uh, to understand why they got wrong in that certain question next it increased the accuracy of marking and grading as I said uh, when the time is safe actually they can the teachers have uh, more energy to mark it and it increased the efficiency and help to analyze student grades so teacher can easily understand their students level of understanding in each question every student get fair marking style and risk can be used in all subject and any kind of marking work uh, including chemistry engineering coding uh, maths science everything and it prevents cheating teachers can send and export grades easily through the grade scope and get detailed analytics for every question the grading is quick and flexible students can have a better understanding about their mistake made the only disadvantage that i have here is the grade scope for the pricing is a bit high one question per subject the price is three dollar or we can say that's 12 ringgit about approximately 12 ringgit for a student it's very expensive but they got a plan, plan b for this pricing problem uh, if you are a group of teachers they got a discount Hello guys, I'm Chen Shia. I have investigated one of the AI applications that used in education field, which is Syncoach. First, I identified the real world problem. In traditional way, many teachers have evaluated their students' knowledge by giving examination. In order to gain more knowledge, students only can learn in classroom. Other than that, every student's learning progress are different. Some students need to spend more time to understand what the teacher is teaching about. But nowadays, there are many AI applications for education that are being developed including the AI mentors for learner. Syncoach is a distributed learning strategy that aims to integrate the live classroom method with best fit picture technologies. 
for example, for those shy students who are intimidated to go in front of classroom to ask teachers questions, they can solve this problem by using Syncoach. Okay, now I examine how I solve the problem. Well, it seems obvious that no one in education is eager for visual humans to come and replace educators. The idea of creating visual human guide is a promising area of development. Think coach, known as computer program capturing a visual human that speaks and gesture in a video game's light interface. For example, students can ask the question by typing the question in the following space that given and the visual human will answer the question. By this way, students that can solve easily by the visual human. Not only that, Synchosh is ability to analyze a large amount of data in real time and provide a new content or specific learning pattern methods for students. Therefore, it is a lifelong and life-wide training for students to learn a new things. Next, I will compare the solution with and without AI. With AI, AI's ability to analyze a large amount of data which is students' performance in a particular skill across subject over the course of a year. By using Syncourge, it can automatically provide new content or specific learning parameters to help the student meet their need for practice. Not only that, it also known as a mentor, which means one by one for every student. It may cause students can learn more global information and do more practice at any time and anywhere. In constant, without AI, teacher must attempt to deliver lessons in a way that resonates with every student in the classroom. So one teacher are teaching a group of students. Therefore, the teacher is using Sam speak for teaching. This is because there are lack of time for teacher to teach students one by one according to their learning speed. If the teacher teach one by one, it may cause teacher cannot teaching finish before the examination. Besides that, some students' learning speed is lower than other students. So the only thing the teacher can do is to increase the class time by giving a tuition class to the student. Thus, teacher needs to spend more extra time to teach students in classroom. At the same time, students need to concentrate for study during the tuition class time. Therefore, students must study within the specific schedule. Now, I will explain the advantage and disadvantage using AI soft problems. The advantage of using SimCoach is flexible schedule and environment. By studying from SimCoach, the students can choose their own learning environment that works based on for their needs. It could be the bedroom or cafe across the street of a class. Besides that, taking an online course that teach by a visual teacher also means that students don't have to commute the to class. This also means less time will be spent on the bus and have more study time sitting on the place that they want. Not only that, by taking an online course, students can really focus on the subject that they are interested in and also can choose from the variety of online programs. Thus, students can study at any way at any time. 
In constant, the disadvantage of sim cost is it cannot replace effective machine. Future learning is an effective resource for highly motivated students who are disciplined and prepared for the dis distinct demands of immediate instruction. Based on, based on the University of Rochester research, they have identified students' sensor relatedness as a key factor in their motivation of learning. So, if students want to good in academic achievement, they have to show their motivation of learning. But most of the students cannot put a fully concentrated effort for learning through a visual teacher in a same coach. This is because that feel the teacher is not the real one and lack of interaction between the virtual teacher and them. Therefore, for some students that cannot learn effectively from same coach. That IA is a um program that deploys artificial intelligence to actually teach math. Now let us talk about the identified and real world problem. Nowadays there are often 10 to 20 students or even more than 40 students in a classroom. Teachers are difficult to pay attention to every single student in class, not even provide personalized feedback to each of them. Some of the students can understand with just one explanation from the teacher, but some might need more time to understand. Every student has different learning speed. Besides, in a class, some students are shy to ask questions to the teachers even if they do not understand the question. But some might can understand what the teacher teach in the one time. Students need more exercise for better understanding, but the teachers provide not enough exercise for them. According to a research done by Kennedy Learning, the cost universities have spent on delivering programs for incoming students are recorded as 6.7 billion US dollars a year. But the average success rate for net tutoring costs is only 33%, which is not even achieved half of the target. From the research, we know that the costs spent on conventional tutoring programs are high, but the target are not achieved. Hence, we might need some implementation of artificial intelligence software programs such as. IA to have to implement it in the classroom. Back then, how AI solve the problem? With NetIA, students can choose to follow the predetermined scope and sequence according to their own learning space after teachers set, set up classes. NetIA use AI technology to generate a detailed report include standards mastery and proof data. There are several modules provide for each grade level and each season takes at least half an hour to complete. NetIA coaches students step by step according to their progress to make sure that no one had left behind. It also provides a student crew to hear students on the question that they cannot answer. By providing targeted coaching and adapting to student thinking, that IA mirrors a human tutor with more complexity and precision than any other math software for leaders and teachers. IA provides actionable data to help you access student learning and adjust instruction so every student can be successful. IA look at every aspect of the student's work to better understand where they are and what they are thinking. 
it doesn't just tell students what they got wrong. It helps them understand what they, why they got it wrong and how to solve it. Med IA made from expertise from med master practitioners and cognitive scientists who ensures that each workspace and program maximize learning while collecting critical data about what students do or do not know at every step. Now let us compare the solution with or without AI. Without AI, teachers are difficult to monitor the learning progress of each student. Teachers take a lot of time and effort if one to guide the student one by one. Students can only ask questions to teachers during class time. They cannot ask teachers questions at when after the class time as they maybe do not have the contact number of teachers or they are shy to ask the teachers. Students do not have enough exercise for the topic that they do not confident. Some might need more exercise than other students to understand what the teachers have teach. Teachers need a lot of time to mark student exercise. With AI, Mac like software program like MAT-IA, it uses cognitive science and AI technologies to provide personalized tutoring and real-time feedback for students. So, teachers do not need more time to guide the student one by one. Besides, students can now learn anywhere and anytime because with Next IA, it is flexible access. As long as the student has internet, it can access the software anywhere and anytime. It is very convenient and a more personalized mode of learning on an ongoing basis. Now I would like to talk about the advantages and disadvantages using artificial intelligence to solve problems. Now let us talk about the advantage of using MedIA. First, it provides targeted coaching and adapted to student thinking. MedIA plays a role of human teacher who can guide students through step-by-step -step example until students understand fully. It will provide several example questions and describing each step to help students solve the math question. It can even rephrase question and honing in on the parts of the problem that are relatively difficult to the question to the student. Personalized and constructive guidance can be offered to every student which are better compared to real human teacher. This is because no matter how responsible and patient a real human teacher is it is quite difficult for human teacher to make sure that every student in class understand what he or she had thought. Even though AI technology brought a lot of advantages to education field, however, there are disadvantages of using it too. One of it is it can stimulate addiction. The school has always been a place to force students to dump their mobile phone and get to open up some real book. With implementation of MedIA in classroom, students are engaged to electronic devices almost 24-7 a day. As time goes by, they will not be able to imagine their life without technology and the world will get a bunch of socially unadapted technology adapt adults as their students grow up. Another disadvantage of using MedIA is causing lacking of personal engagement. During the good old days, students will stay after class to ask questions if they cannot understand what teacher taught in classroom. And the student will and the teacher will teach them with patience until the student understands. Some students will even go to tuition classes to make sure to gain enough knowledge. 
whoever with the application of Net IA in classroom students no need to go to tuition classes anymore. In this way, students will not need to have any personal engagement to their teacher as they can get necessary knowledge and guiding and even personalized coaching from Mac IA software.